Once again on the programme, here I am at Common Farm Flowers at Chotton Musgrove near Wing Canton. And with me, my guide all this week is Georgie Newbury, who grows some wonderful British flowers which she sends out around the country. Now, you're not a trained horticulturist, are you? No, I'm not a trained horticulturist or a trained florist. But I've got very green fingers and I know to ask questions when I don't know how to do something. I find somebody who does and they tell me. So I've le- I'm learning on the job. And your knowledge must have grown enormously over the last few years. Yeah, I mean, my sister was so funny. She said, how do you know all this? And I think, you know, if you're interested in something, you read up about it and you listen to the stuff there is on the radio and you watch the telly and you pick things up. And um, yes, I suppose I think I know nothing about gardening, but compared to quite a lot of people, I suppose I know a fair bit. My big tip, my huge tip for anybody doing any kind of gardening whether it's growing acres of cut flowers or just row of carrots is feed your soil that's your number one priority now you're a great cutter although you call it hacking i mean you 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 have no qualms about getting out there and chopping away no i have itchy scissor syndrome and i will cut anything that looks interesting i um, am greatly inspired by constant spry who used to cut uh, vegetables like black kale, cavolo nero, she used to put in her flower arrangements. And inspired by her, I'll give anything a go and see whether I can condition it to stand in water. And I suppose as your experience has grown over the years, different combinations of flowers have come about, haven't they? Absolutely. And uh, that's the challenge for what we do. We're grower florists, and there are lots of cut flower growers, obviously, and there are lots of florists, but there are not that many people who do both. And I think that is where it keeps it interesting for me. is it's all a question of taste and it's all a question of making the material work interestingly together i think if people ever look at the photographs of my blog or my website i'm very influenced by dutch 17th century art and by the scottish colorists and you don't get that at a garage forecourt do you you don't no well maybe you do but not not at our local one here (laughs) and those inspirations the way that those artists work with texture and interesting color and light is very very important to what we do otherwise it would be really quite dull wouldn't it there you go she's quite an artist that's the lovely georgie newbury interesting character we're hearing from her all this week on the program she runs common farm flowers which is at charton musgrove if you want more details if you just put common farm flowers into google it'll pop up